Hi, Necessarily Family. Guys, tonight I'm taking all of these items that I've bought from Aldi and I'm making a bougie on a budget charcuterie board. And I'm using this tonight for our date night. We're going to have some snacks, sip some wine, and catch up on TV. The goal of this board tonight is to be protein packed. So we're gonna be using a lot of cheese and a lot of meat and some fruit to offset a little bit of that savoriness. We're also gonna be using nuts and some crackers. So as you see right here, I've already pre-washed some strawberries and grapes. Guys, I really hope you pre-wash your fruit before you eat it. Um, so I have those just sitting in a strainer ready to go. And then I'm cutting up some Colby Jack cheese. Guys, Aldi cheese is a, like a $1.80. Um, it's so bomb. It's so much cheaper than Kroger or anywhere else I've shopped. So I always make sure I have a couple of these in the fridge. And so I'm slicing that up. And then I'm also making... I'm not making but i'm cutting up some extra sharp cheddar i'm not going to cut it into slices i want to do something uh, aesthetically different so i'm going to cut these in cubes i'm really struggling with uh cutting this cheese because i usually just shred it and uh cutting cheese takes some wrist work so i'm just going to cut these in cubes like really i was struggling <laughs> So as I'm cutting and I'm pushing these to the side, I'm going to bring out my board. I purchased this board for I think five to $10. You can find these, you can use any kind of board. I've seen people use like treated wood, like um, wood slices, or you can use anything for a display if you want to. But I purchased this board that um, I'm gonna be specifically using for these kind of things. And I'm putting down these Savorous crackers. Guys, these crackers are like $2. And for 15 crackers, it's 10 grams of carbs. These are wheat crackers. And I am placing my cheese around the crackers just to start trying to like uh, decorate and place the board. As you see, I'm trying to add like height, depth. Guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time. I really just like looked at some pictures on Pinterest and I thought it'd be a nice idea to try. Um, it makes me feel real bougie as I'm catching, catching up on my TV and, you know, having a glass, you know, two or, or three of wine. So I have to tell you guys about this meat packet. So this meat packet is $11.99 at my Aldi and it comes with prosciutto. It comes with hard salami and it also comes with pepperoni wrapped in mozzarella. And obviously I got that because of its protein. So it's meat and cheese. Um, so as you see, I put all hard salami down and then I decided to alternate to add the meat. I also added some strawberries onto the board for like fill to fill up some space. And it was a great idea to alternate. As you see, I'm struggling with my pattern, but it was a great idea to alternate just to add different kinds of meats on the board. And if you don't like pork, cause I know all of these are made with pork, use turkey, use whatever you normally like in you know the deli aisle and I bought these pre-packaged because wrapping these in cheese would have taken a whole bunch of time and it would have been way more expensive than what I paid for it at Aldi so um, that's why I went ahead and bought this package so it's kind of semi-homemade but it still works and it still has a pretty presentation so I didn't put these at the end as you guys see um, because they're circular and they're like round, not circular, but they're round and they would roll off. So I want to just put them in the middle and just use them as the highlight of the tray and then work around it. So as you see, I'm adding some almonds. Just wanted to add some nuts to them. They are unsalted nuts, I believe. But these things are the truth. These are also savorites. You can find these at Aldi's. Aldi, you know how people say Kroger's, Kroger, I'm guilty. Aldi, you can find them at Aldi. They are Parmesan crisp. It's basically like fried cheese and it's like crispy chips. And I love them. Um, again, protein packed. And I'm adding some grapes to the board as well. And I noticed that the stem is falling off. I don't think you guys can see that. So I just cut the stem off there, just placing them, making sure I get some of the cheese out of the way because I didn't want any wet cheese chips but I'm making sure they're tight enough together to make sure there's no spaces, but also making sure no cheese gets wet. And now I'm adding olives, guys. I'm a sucker for olives. I love them. I love the saltiness in them. As you see, I stole a cheese chip. Marcus won't notice, but I'm adding olives and I'm adding some more grapes to finish out. 
keep adding, keep moving. There's nothing wrong with if you move it around. I don't, I've seen so many different kinds. So you could just kind of make it how you are, how it is and voila. All right, guys, we are finished. The board is right in front of us. We've got our glasses of wine, and we're going to catch up on all of our missed TV shows and some movies. So we want to thank you guys for watching our DIY Bougie on a Budget Charcuterie board. I just don't want to always say it like that. Charcuterie. I don't know why. You like that? Charcuterie. It's weird, but charcuterie? Yeah, we're here. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys try it on your own. Try it at home with the things that you like. And with some wine, of course, because that's important. But I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.